And now, as we promised you, the showdown, the Duke City showdown, Rudy Bad Boy Lovato and Steve Hindy are going to face off in this battle of Albuquerque lightweights. These are two of the best lightweight fighters in the city of Albuquerque, the state of New Mexico. Right here, you're looking at Steve Hindy. Steve Hindy is undefeated, 4-0 and with three knockouts. He's one of the fast-rising lightweights in the world of boxing from right here in Albuquerque. His status as a six-time New Mexico State amateur champion definitely shows him well. He had over 300 amateur fights, and now you're looking at his opponent, who was formerly rated in three weight divisions as a kickboxer, Rudy the Bad Boy Lovato. His current boxing record, 3-2 and two with two knockouts, scoring a devastating first-round knockout in his last appearance on national television on ESPN, as did Steve Hendy. And this shapes up as a real good grudge match. And now let's take a look at a little build-up for this fight, this exciting battle of lightweights from here and, in Albuquerque. Uh, then the big grudge match that everybody in town has been talking about, Steve Hendy and Rudy Lovato. How do you see that fight going? I think, uh, personally, I think uh, Hendy's got the better edge. I see him spar. He, he's training hard. And as for Lavato, I, I can't really say much for him, but I'll go with him. Okay. Okay, Rudy, uh, what do you think about the card tonight? Uh, who are you looking forward to seeing in action? Steve Hendy and uh, Rudy Lavato. Okay, and how do you see that fight going? Uh, Steve Hendy's way. Yeah, I've been sparring him for the last two weeks. He's tough, he's really strong. And uh, the coach down at the hideout, they're really experienced. Okay. So you're pretty confident that Steve will win that one? Yeah. I'm How about the main event? Definitely. Danny Perez and Kenny Garcia, what do you think? I think Danny Danny looks really good, you know, by his weight and the way he looks. I think Okay. I think okay, Rudy Lovato, tomorrow night we'll face Steve Hindi in a real uh, exciting and, and very much anticipated grudge match. Oh yeah, oh yeah, it is. It is. Everybody's looking forward to it. You know, not only uh in Steve Hindi and myself, but you know the the boxing fans here in Albuquerque, everybody's looking forward to it. It's going to be a probably one of the premier matchups of probably quite some time for here in, uh, in Albuquerque. And uh, you know, yeah, both of us are ready for it, and uh, you know, we're going to get it on. Yeah. Okay. So you're familiar with Steve Hindi. I think you've seen him box before. Oh yeah. What do you think uh, uh, as far as being impressed with his skills? Um, you know, he's got some good. Uh, Techniques he brought up from the amateurs, and uh, you know it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to be a good, it's going to be a good fight. You know, I don't know if the weatherman predicted anything, but there, there's a, there's a, Is there a forecast coming up. Yeah, there's a forecast. We have some lightning and some thunder right here. Uh oh, yeah, that's in the forecast. <laughs> uh, yeah. Miss, I don't know, Mr. Hindi might want to change channels if that's true. Well, if he wants to change it, he's going to try. But the, but the, the weather's here. Okay, Rudy. Now, uh, what can you tell us about the main event, Danny Perez and uh, Kenny Garcia? Do you see any trouble for Danny Perez on the horizon? Uh, no. Uh, Danny just can't afford to get careless and uh, he's got to watch himself. And if he does, you know, he's going to have he's going to have a good night. You know, he'll win. He okay. just can't get careless and he's got to stick to his game plan and he'll do it. Okay. Anything you want to say to the people of Albuquerque before you step in the ring? <laughs> Come down and watch the bad boy in action. He's here and and I'm going to cause some trouble. All right. Thanks a lot, Rudy Lovato. Thank you. Okay, this is Steve Hindy, and he'll be facing Rudy Lovato tomorrow night. Steve, thank you for joining us. Okay, what can you predict on the on the fight tomorrow? Do you have any kind of predictions or anything? Well, I'm sure we're looking forward to a good fight. Um, both of us are fighting in front of our hometown, so naturally both of us want to put up for the best effort. Uh, I'm sure it'll be a good fight. Okay, have you seen Rudy before in action? Uh, no, I'm not. Uh, the last time we fought here in town, I fought after he did, so I wasn't able to see what he looked like. Okay, but I'm sure you've heard of his reputation and that, that he will be a tough test for you. Well, I've heard that he's been training hard and, you know, like anybody else, I'm sure he came and we'll be there tomorrow to fight. So we'll be ready, you know, like I said, we're always ready and we'll be ready to get him on. Right, okay. Now your career, I think you're 4-0 and right now? That's correct, I'm 4-0. and So you're moving up pretty fast, actually. I'm doing real well. Yeah, yeah. Things are going good. Any problems with making weight for this fight tomorrow? Uh, with the weight's no problem. 135 is easy. Good, good. Okay, and uh, you're being trained by Danny Romero? And Danny Romero's my trainer, Alvin Gutierrez. Right. And uh, uh, Luis is our uh, second, which is also helping out. Okay, now a lot of talk has been made about uh, you're uh, working for the APD and that uh, Rudy is trained by the Bernalillo Sheriff, uh, Bob Foster. So has there been talk around at the police station or anything about, uh, you know, that, that uh, challenge? No, no one said anything. This is, 
my career with being a police officer and my career in, in boxing is totally separate, totally different. Right. So I don't try to intermix both. Okay. But uh, a lot of your friends and family will be out to support you? I'm sure they will be. Good. Sure okay. Be. We're looking forward. We're looking forward. We're looking forward. We're looking forward. In front of our hometown. Okay. Well, the city of Albuquerque behind you. Thank you for joining us, Steve. Thank you. Great. That's Steve Hindi. Thanks, Steve. I appreciate it a lot. Have Rudy Lovato on the scales. <laughs> Rudy Lovato, one thirty four and a half. Steve Andy, 134 even. Steve Andy, 134 even. Uh, Terry McDowell. So the stage has been set, the challenge has been laid down. Rudy the Bad Boy Lovato will face Steve Andy, and you're going to see it right now on the eight count boxing hour. This bout is scheduled for eight rounds in the lightweight division. Okay, it's time to get down to it now. The main event, Rudy Bad Boy Lovato and Steve Hindi, both from Albuquerque. Two exciting lightweights, two of the best lightweights in the state of New Mexico are going to go head-to-head -head now in front of their hometown crowd. The Duke City Showdown, and it's finally going to happen right here on the 8-Count Boxing Hour. We're all set for round one. There you see referee Marvin Nephew now getting the judges ready to go, the timekeeper. And there's the bell. Round one is underway. Steve Hindi comes out in the white trunks now. Rudy Bad Boy Lovato in the black trunks with the words Bad Boy written across the front waistband. Rudy Lovato now on the outside doing a little bit of circling, a little bit of boxing. This showdown has been brewing for quite some time and it's been a lot of talk around town. Hindi and Lovato, this is a real grudge match. Talk around town shows me that uh, Steve Hindi comes into this fight as the favorite. He is undefeated. Coming into this bout with a record of 4-0, Steve Hindi weighing in at 134 pounds. And Rudy Lovato in the black trunks came into this fight at 134 and one half pounds. Both men having no trouble at all making the lightweight limit. A lot of people had Steve Hindi as the favorite in this fight. He has a lot of experience. He had about 400 amateur fights, and he is undefeated as a pro. Of course, Rudy Lovato was a world-ranked contender in the world of professional kickboxing. He was rated in three divisions, and now trying his luck at uh, professional boxing. He comes into this bout with a record of three wins and two losses. Those two losses were early in his career when he was making the, the switch from uh, kickboxer to boxer. But his last fight, an incredible first round knockout on national television. Steve Hindi also scoring an early knockout in his fight on the same card. So here they are now, toe to toe. You can see Steve Hindi very patient now. He, he, that's the way he fights. And he comes out with a big right hand though. Steve Hindi is very deceiving. He's very powerful and a lot of people don't, don't seem to feel he has power. Boy, he does, believe me. He hits very hard. On the other hand, Rudy Lovato also, most people feel his chance to win this fight will be by a knockout. He has a good jab and a tremendous right hand. Lovato working with that jab now, trying to get inside the defense of Steve Hindi. Steve Hindi's a very sound technical boxer. And he's got the total package. He has the, not only the technical skills, but he has good power. And there you see Hindi landing with a good combination now. The referee breaks the two. And whoa, Hindi with a big windmill right hand misses. Rudy Lovato also staying very calm. He was very pumped up for this fight, but you can see that 
Uh, he is taking the advice of his manager and trainer, Bob Foster, and uh, staying cool. He's staying cool. He's not losing his head. And now you see Lovato answering at the bell. Uh-oh. <laughs> he pushes Steve Hindi off. And I think that's kind of setting the tone for what this fight's going to be like tonight. Steve Hindi starting round two now on, on the attack. Lovato just ties him up, calmly ties him up. You can just feel the tension. You feel that, that something big is going to happen here. Both men do have explosive punching power. Their right hands are both wicked right hands. Now you see Lovato a little bit, little bit busier, a little more uh, offensive. Steve Hindi looking more to counter punch, working off of the moves that Lovato makes. Oh, a big right hand from Hindi. He stings Lovato with a good right hand. Rudy very smartly ties him up right away. You can see Rudy Lovato has a very straight up style. His body is very straight up, and I think that is a little bit of that kickboxing in him. Whereas you see Hindi a little more crouched. Ooh, good left, left hand attempt from Lovato. These are two of Albuquerque's favorite fighters. You know, people around town get excited when either one of these guys uh, appears on a card in town. Uh, they really get the crowd up. And putting these two together, although it may not be, have been a smart move for, for uh-oh. Steve Hindi with a left hand. Rudy Lovato goes down to the canvas. That's a knockdown. Rudy's questioning it, but the referee, Marvin Nephew, rules it as a knockdown. He'll take a mandatory eight count, and here we go. So Rudy Lovato hits the deck early in this fight. I think he was a little bit surprised. And that may, I don't know if that's going to wake him up or if he's hurt. He doesn't look, appear to be hurt. In fact, it looks like it, is, it has kind of woken him up a little bit. Now he comes out swinging. So Steve Hindi lands a big knockdown. Oh, and here comes Hindi now with a body combination. Rudy Lovato told me before this fight, he, he knew he was in for a tough fight, but he did feel he was ready. You can see Steve Hindi now, even though he had Rudy Lovato down, he didn't go wild, he didn't lose his head. He's a real seasoned professional. All those years of amateur boxing, I mean, he's been boxing for years and years and sparring at that hideout boxing club with some of the best fighters in New Mexico. He knows what to do. He's not losing his head. He's not getting overly excited. Uh-oh, here comes Lovato now with a big right. Again, the referee tells him to break. At the bell. So a good round for both fighters, but that knockdown definitely gives the edge to Steve Hindi in that second round. Round three is underway now. As you can see, we do not have the between rounds. There was no introduction and there will be no announcement of the winners. This tape uh, graciously being given permission for us to use by the New Mexico State Boxing Commission. The Athletic Commission has allowed us to use their official tape. And that's what you're seeing right now. So. Um, it's not real fancy, but we wanted to bring you this fight. This is one of the best matchups uh, of in quite some time here in Albuquerque. So after two rounds, I think Steve Hindi's got a little bit of a lead here. Oh, there's a good right from Hindi. And Lovato, although he's staying busy, has not really been able to connect solidly on Steve Hindi. Hindi has a, a pretty tough defense to, to work with, and he's a very good counter puncher. And I think that's giving Rudy Lovato a little bit of problems. But Rudy is staying right in his face, hoping to land that big right. Rudy just staying outside now, pecking away with that left hand, looking for an opening. And Steve Hindi is content just to sit back and counter punch. So I guess they've kind of both settled into their fight plan. Oh, a good uppercut from the outside by Lovato. Flush on the chin of Hindi. Now here comes Rudy Lovato. And Hindi right away answering back. 
Here goes Lovato scoring now. Rudy Lovato doing some nice work here. And there went the lights. Lights out, I, don't, I guess for somebody. I don't know if that's an omen, I don't know. But the lights have just gone out in the, in the audience. And here comes Rudy Lovato now on the attack again. Backing up Steve Hindy. So, so far a very good round for uh, Lovato. Ooh, oh! And Lovato gets stung as he was launching a left hand. Hindi out, out punched him on that. As they both launched left hands, Hindi's got there and Lovato was a little stung. He still looks a little bit hurt. Yeah, Lovato's in a little trouble. Now here he comes firing. Oh man, and now Steve Hindi on the attack. Lovato backing up. Both men doing damage in this fight. Another left hand from Hindi. So it's the left hand that's working good for Steve Hindi tonight. And there's the bell. Rudy Lovato, who had a good round going there, but Steve Hindi comes on strong at the end of the round. We're now going into round four. We're heading for the halfway point of this matchup. Rudy Lovato in the black trunks and Steve Hindi in the white trunks. Coming to you from the state fairgrounds here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Again, thank you to all the boxing fans here in Albuquerque that have been uh, uh, corresponding with us and watching the 8-Count Boxing Hour. It's a real pleasure, pleasure to bring this show to you. And feel free to drop us a line anytime. You can write to me either at Channel 27 or drop a note to our P.O. box, and you'll have that address on the ending credits. We really look forward to hearing from the boxing fans. There's a good left hand from Hindi, and a big right. He follows it with a right hand. Steve Hindi working with both hands. Lovato comes back now. Neither one of these men will just cover up. They always seem to answer back when they're hurt. Two very exciting fighters. And the referee has really had no problem in controlling these two. They have been very respectful with his commands. Again, Rudy Lovato now following Steve Hindi shooting out that left and occasionally like that firing the right hand coming up a little bit short a good crowd here at the state fairgrounds for this boxing show prime productions is the promoter for this show and they've done a very good job we look forward to some more great shows here in albuquerque from these fine promoters and they're really giving you a good a good show here with these two fighters Ooh, a good right hand spray comes off of Steve Hindi. Lovato with a good right. Rudy's landed some good shots, but it seems that the, the more volume of, of effective punches have come from Steve Hindi. And here comes Lovato now with a two-fisted attack, pushing Hindi out, coming out of the corner, and Hindi smartly ties him up. Both men are good technicians here. Neither one would I consider a real brawler. They're both, they both are technical fighters. Again, a Lovato coming in, shooting that jab. Rudy Lovato trained by one of the boxing legends, our own Bob Foster, the former light heavyweight champion of the world. And he's passing on his knowledge to the man in the black trunks, Rudy Lovato. And Steve Hindi, on the other hand, trains out of the world-famous Hideout Boxing Gym here in Albuquerque. That's Danny Romero in charge of that gym. And uh, Albert Gutierrez, two, two great, great boxing trainers. And that ends the round. Another close round, pretty close round. We now go into the fifth round, round five of this bout, scheduled for eight. These are lightweights. Good action so far. Rudy Lovato has been down once. He was dropped in the second round with a left hand. That's the only knockdowns of this fight. Steve Hindi appears to have a cut over, over one of his eyes. I don't know. I think Hindi has developed a cut now here in the fifth round. And here you see Lovato being very aggressive now coming forward. 
Hindi just standing back, waiting for the counter punch. There's a good left from Hindi. And a good right hand from Steve Hindi. A good right hand lead. Hindi really looks sharp tonight. And let's see, the referee, somebody dropped their mouthpiece or? Lovato says, not mine. Hindi says, not mine. I don't know what that was. Something went flying. I hope it wasn't someone's teeth, but okay, the action's back on now. These men are throwing some powerful shots here. Both men are just throwing some bombs. Ooh, a big right hand from Hindi. And here comes Lovato answering back with some hooks. Wow, Steve Hindi landed a good right, right hand. Now you see Lovato again coming in behind that jab, throwing the right hand. He's trying to work his way inside and just, just to land that big right and hurt Hindi so he can jump on him. But Steve Hindi has not been hurt. Again, Lovato just watching, picking away at, at Hindi. Maybe he's working on that cut, flicking that jab out there. Steve Hindi has, has a cut over his left eye. Boy, two fine fighters. It's a shame one of them has to take a loss here unless this bout does end up in a draw. Uh, these are two, two wonderful fighters from here in Albuquerque. Ooh, there's a good little right hand from, from Lovato. Uh-oh, a big left hand from Hindi. Down goes Lovato again. The same exact spot, and Lovato gets up a little bit shaky. The second time now, Steve Hindi drops Rudy Lovato with a left hook, a solid left hand. And here comes Hindi now, going on the attack. Okay, so Rudy Lovato has been down in the second and now down in the fifth. And that puts him, that really hurts him uh, scoring-wise with the judges. Lovato now needs to start doing some damage to get back into this fight. And you see Rudy again, he's very tough. He's, one, he's a tough kind of fighter. He won't stay down, he'll get up. And I'm sure he'll insist he's just fine. He can take a lot of punishment. So that ends that fifth round. We now head into the sixth round of this bout, scheduled for eight. And Lovato, now you see him circling, fighting from the outside, flicking the jab, doing a little boxing here. Steve Hindi controlling the center of the ring, trying to cut Lovato off and catch him. Most people were telling me that they thought Rudy's chance to win this fight was by knockout, but uh, Rudy Lovato told me in the pre-fight interview that he felt he could box with Steve Hindi and come out with a victory. But he was prepared to go either way. If he, if he got into a little bit uh, trouble falling behind, that he could come back with a knockout power. And uh, Steve Hindi, on the other hand, just always the same. He's very, he's very calm and, and a good counter puncher. He can take a shot. He's very technically sound, as I said before. So this is a real good, good matchup. Now you see Lovato moving his feet, doing a little bit of boxing here. It looks like he's shaking off the effects of that knockdown. He looks, he looks pretty clear. He's, he's moving right. He's not, he's not at all hurt anymore. But he was, uh, he was stung by that left hook in the fifth round. He was definitely hurt. But he looks clear now. Again, Rudy Lovato just trying to find a way to get to Hindi. He's, he's really been hard to solve tonight. Very hard to solve. He keeps his hands high. Steve Hindi is just a natural. He's been boxing for so long that everything just comes natural to him. Ooh, a good left hand again from Hindi. Steve Hindi's left hand has been, that's really been working for him tonight. Very effective. And he has good power in both hands. That's another asset Steve Hindi has. That's why he is undefeated. Rudy would love to get a victory here tonight. Rudy Lovato in the black trunks. I know the people from ESPN top rank are, have been taking a real close look at him after his last performance. They've really been watching him close. And uh, if he can get a victory here over Steve Hindi, that could really put him up there in prominence. On the other hand, Steve Hindi would like to continue undefeated. Makes him very marketable. 
And he's fighting some very good opponents. He's really, really had some tough opponents in his first four fights, including Sammy Miller of Las Vegas, who you saw here in the, in the eight count boxing hour when Steve Henney defeated Sammy Miller, who at that time was also undefeated. And I believe to this time, uh, Steve Henney is the only man that has defeated Sammy Miller. So that ends that round, a little bit slower pace there. Another round goes into the books. We're getting ready to start the seventh round of this bout, scheduled for eight rounds. This is round seven now, two rounds to go. And I think Rui Lovato does definitely need a knockout or at least to score a knockdown here to get back into this fight. He's been down twice and that definitely hurts him. And Steve Hindy has been winning a lot of close rounds. I think Rudy Lovato is going to have to get busy. He got off to a little bit of a slow start. Again, Steve Hindy ha has a cut over his eye. He's had a cut since about the fifth round. But the, the men in the corner have done a good job, good job of keeping that cut under control. Again now, Lovato trying to pick him with that jab, picking his shots, doing some good boxing work. You can see that Steve Hindy is not aggressive. He is not very aggressive here. He's standing back, waiting for a counter punch. There's a good lunging left hook now from Hindi. Steve Hindi told us that he had a lot of uh, friends and family in the audience tonight, and he wanted to really put on a good show for them, as well as all the boxing fans of Albuquerque. He is a crowd pleaser. He's, oh, there's a good body shot from Hindi. Steve Hindi looking to, to please the crowd with his performance, and so far he has. He's really performed well against a, a very tough opponent. There you see Lovato creeping in, but Hindi comes out all of a sudden. Lovato's jab is pretty good. He's got a good jab. He has a nice reach, but it just hasn't been enough. And uh, Hindi's defense has been tough to penetrate. With those gloves up high, look at Hindi. Again, Lovato stepping in on Hindi, but but not really landing any clean punches. And Hindi goes down, that's a slip. He slipped on the apron there. That is not a knockdown, that is a slip. But let's see if, if that gets uh, Lovato fired up, seeing Hindi go down. There you go, ooh, Lovato's throwing that left hook with bad intentions. Hindi flicking that jab out. Here comes Lovato with a right hand, and another right hand. Rudy Lovato heating up just a little bit. Oh, and another big right from Lovato with Hindi back on the corner now. Where you see Hindi tie him up and then move out to the left to get out of that corner. Very <laughs> nice move by Steve Hindi. Lovato continues to stalk him, however. Again, Steve Hindi tying him up. I don't know if that cut's bothering him very much. That ends the seventh round. We've got one round left, three minutes left to, to decide this fight. Marvin Nephew now tells the men touch him up. They do, and here we go with the eighth round now. This is the final round. Rudy Lovato in the black trunks, Steve Hindi in the white trunks. Lovato coming out pretty aggressive now, throwing some combinations. Hindi trying to find that left hand again. He hasn't been able to get it in this round. Look at Lovato. Like a wild man, now here comes Hindi back. Steve Hindi, and now here's Lovato with the left hand. Lovato drops his hands and comes forward. Looking very confident, but he's running out of time. Rudy, the bad boy Lovato, coming out in this eighth round like a wild man. Ooh, there's a good little uppercut now, and Steve Hindi back on the ropes. That cut is getting worse on Steve Hindi. Looks like it's starting to open up. He's lucky this is the final round. He's, he's wiping at it. It is bleeding. Lovato knows it. He's got his man damaged now. He's trying to get in there with that right. Ooh, and he runs into a left hand from Hindi. But again, Hindi backing up. Rudy Lovato pushing Steve Hindi back in this eighth round, something he has not been doing up to this point. You have to wonder if he had started this a little bit sooner, what would this fight be like right now? 
There you see Hindi very smartly. Uh-oh. Okay, the referee calls time. He's calling the ring doctor into the ring to take a look at that eye. Let's see what the ring doctor says. Oh, boy. It's up to the ring doctor now that uh, cut over uh, Steve Hindy's left eye. The, the ring doctor says, go ahead. He's going to let him go now. Boy, that would have been terrible if that fight had been stopped right there. And here comes Hindy now fighting, backing up, but sticking that jab out there and catching Lovato coming forward. Rudy needs to land the bomb. Lovato definitely winning this round, however. He's been keeping Hindi on the <laughs> backing up. Steve Hindi on his bicycle now, backing away. Lovato still stalking forward, moving in on him. What a great fight. This has been a good action fight, just as we thought it would be. The crowd here just going wild on both sides. Both men have a lot of fans here. Again, Steve Hindi backing up, Lovato coming forward. You can see that cut over Hindi's left eye. Here comes Lovato with the right hand. He says, here it comes, folks. Ooh, and there it is. He lands a good right. He comes in with another combination. Hindi answering back. Hindi answers back, but then moves out. Lovato with his hands low, coming in on, on Steve Hindi. Rudy Lovato, very confident. Wow, and he, he's in good shape, and that's the bell. That's the fight. That's the end of this fight, and now we're gonna go to the judges' scores here. The final scoring of this bout was as follows. Judge number one, Hugh Bishop, had the fight 78-74 in favor of Steve Hindi. The second judge, Walter Brown, 79-72 in favor of Steve Hindi. And judge number three, Mr. Jerry Hansen, 79-73, all in favor of the unanimous decision winner, Steve Hindi. And the eight-count boxing hour had the bout scored 78-73, also in favor of Steve Hindi. It was a, a fair decision, a uni unanimous decision. Moving his record to 5-0 and now is Albuquerque's Steve Hindi. And Rudy Lovato is screaming for a rematch. And I don't know, we might see these two down the road sometime. Uh, maybe even here on the eight-count boxing hour. But a very, very exciting match. And I hope you enjoyed it.